So you've been interviewed heaps of times, right? You used to interviews? <laughs> Not really. Don't you like click it down? They're for movies, aren't they? Are we gonna do multiple takes or just one? You snap it. Wait, do I just say it into the camera? Action. Action. Action? Action. Uh, camera, lights, action. Today was our Year 7 transition day for all of our new students joining us in 2024 and there was a real buzz and energy in the air as students joined us for the first time and met their mentor teachers and had the opportunity to get familiar with our spaces. I couldn't sleep last night, I was too excited. Uh, I woke up at 6.30 in the morning. I was really excited to meet new people and meet the teachers. It was really nerve-wracking because like, I don't know anybody who's from the school. Yeah, I think I was mostly excited. Of course, there were a couple of nerves mixed in there. Nervous because it was like, well, I'm going to be spending the next six years here, so I better make a good impression. My sister goes here and she has told me so much about how lovely the teachers are. I'm better than I expected it too. We got to get a lot of new things, meet new people. I've never had a laptop before. There's a lot more things to do, like more opportunities and um, more homework. A lot more work than what I've been doing. There's so many great teachers and it's just the best place if you want to develop and learn. In grade six, it felt like we were kids, but now I'm feeling like I'm all grown up. The yard was full, the locker bays were full of students and staff, which I loved. That indicates to me that a very strong community. It's just a hive of excitement. It is such an incredibly exciting day for them and their parents. And so that energy and that buzz and that vibe, you just can't help but be caught up in it. It's watching a, a whole group of people, some of whom come from Buckley House, but the majority haven't, and they're just new, they're excited about new things, and we're starting to form a, a whole new community, which is the class of 2029, and embarking on a journey together. I saw no tears, which is always a win. We were always happy with that. I was like, okay, I think I've done a good job. It's a big year for them because the reins have let loose a bit and you're setting up those initial expectations, those initial behaviours. And if they have a good, strong foundation, it means they'll end up in a strong place as well. I think as long as they start finding their feet, find out who their people are, that's really important. Finding out who they are, their interests, what excites them. And then that's the whole job for us, is to find them a future. Ivanhoe gives you a lot of opportunities like the production, which I think I probably will join at some point. Some of my hobbies like guitar, engineering, it's just cooking even, like you can just do all of it here. I love my sport, so I'm happy about the sports centre. I also like how diverse the music program is. I like the layout of the school. There's quite a wide variety of kids, I think. We get a lot more like choices. It's gonna be a big adventure. The combination locks, that's always a big challenge for the first day of year seven. I got it first try. I got it on my second try. It wouldn't lock. I like the feeling of having a locker, but I can't open it. So I had year 11's YouTubing how to reset the, the codes. I've got a master key, bolt cutters are the last resort. So we have um, peer mentors and they're year 11 students who've worked really closely with our year seven students today, making them feel at ease and, and helping them as they navigate a new campus and new spaces. It's an ongoing um, activity where these students mentor the year sevens, but also when they're in year 12, they reconnect with the students when they're in year eight. So there's that continuation of that relationship that they have. We encourage all the students, look out for one another. If you do see someone on their own, go up and introduce yourself because um, you might be a bit more confident than what they're feeling at the moment. So we definitely saw that happening on orientation day and yesterday we could see those connections already forming. The offering, whether that be academic or co-curricular, is so broad and so vast that everybody should be able to find something that they're passionate or interested in or that they can nurture here in terms of strength. It's a great school. It's one that is full of um, diverse students and we are inclusive. That environment that they are going to feel safe to try new things um, and the message right from the very top, be your best. What is your best version? That's what we want to see at Ivanhoe. 
They're gonna forget to bring their sports uniform some days. They're gonna forget to bring their, their instruments. And that's fine, because they're gonna learn from those mistakes. So I suppose my message for parents is, let them make those mistakes, let them grow themselves, uh, and then you can just witness the journey along the way. You can know that they're gonna be supported from all angles, and we're gonna be cheerleaders for them and help them thrive, you know, just like you would at home. There's no point of it without good teachers. The main part of a school is the teachers. I love my mentor teacher, she is so cool. I can't pronounce her last name. I can never pronounce anybody's last name without saying it wrong. They all seem really good. They're all really welcoming and supportive. I love my math teacher. Teachers have been really nice and really helpful. Everyone's really nice around here and I think I'll have a great time. From the moment you step foot on our campus, you feel that it has a real heart and soul. And it's lovely to have seen so many of our students experience that today and have the opportunity to feel a part of something bigger than themselves. The sort of person we're developing here at Ivanhoe, you know, at the forefront is kind and compassionate, who, um, you know, can reflect on themselves, but reflect on the wider world as well. Feeling that they've been lucky to be here to have grasped lots of different skills and are ready to, to face the big wide world when they finish up. I'm going to change the world by making it a better place and everyone being more kind because kindness makes the world go round. I'll make a difference by helping people. Um, to change the world you just have to be nice to people. Like doing tiny things for other people, maybe you'll change their world too. I want to do something that helps the community. Probably Helping with global warming. I'm gonna write books. I'm gonna write books that like, inspire people. I'm looking at being an astrophysicist and I think it's really important to know more than just what's on our planet. Just help wherever I can. Maybe I'll design something or I'll invent something. I don't know, we'll have to see. My plan is not set in stone yet for how I'm gonna change the world. I'm not sure yet, I'm only 12. On action. Oh. Thank you so much, Holly. That was all. Oh. Do you want to keep going? No. I'd rather get back to class. <laughs> You'd rather go back to class? <laughs> Enjoy school. <laughs> Thanks. And cut. <laughs>